All right, guys, and welcome back to more Dongan Rompa. After the ridiculous route we chose last time, we chose to pursue the lie, obviously, which was that that route was completely optional. That was like a what if route. I guess you could say it was a bad ending, but at the same time, since it flashed back, it wasn't really a, a ending because an ending would have just routed off. Credits would have rolled, and then that's it. You would have to load the game again, play through the entire chapter or something. But that was more like a what if scenario flashback type shit going on in Makoto's head. And that was pretty, that was one of the funniest things ever I've seen in this game. That was probably the funniest moment. It was so horrible. <laughs> it was a, it, it was horrible because of the death getting squashed like that. I think that's probably one of the worst deaths in the game. And then on top of that, what happened after was just so stupid, funny, ridiculous. Like, come on, my waifu had like three baby daddies. My waifu had three baby daddies. And apparently, I didn't get to tap that until like two years later. Because, like, all they, all they sons and shit was already grown. So Makoto was like the last to go, dude. <laughs> oh my god, you know what? That's, that's just a what if scenario. Let's get out of here with that bullshit. Here we go, guys. We're about to start up Rumpa again. <laughs> like, I literally left for five minutes straight after that. So thank you for telling me about that choice I had to make because I, I don't think I would have been... I, I don't think I would have made that choice to begin with if it wasn't for uh, Katsu and Tina Torell, the guy that bought me this game, bringing you this playthrough. So shout outs to them. <laughs> so here we go. God damn. Uh, there has to be some secret here. Something that has to do with the mastermind strap that Kyoko mentioned. Well, does no one have a rebuttal? Have you decided <clears throat> to accept her assertion as fact? Hmm. I see. So you still refuse to accept it. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room. That it was someone else. But who else could it have been? I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? You! What are you trying to imply? But of course, I have an alibi. From nighttime on, I was with you guys the entire time. Right. Well, what happened to Toko in that end? That I want to know. Toko got... <laughs> Toko literally got bodied in that ending. <laughs> she was nowhere to be found. Rip in peace, Toko. She just somehow died. I couldn't possibly have killed anyone or put the key in Kyoko's room. Well, someone had to put the key in there. There's only one other possibility I can think of. The mastermind. Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. Makoto, no! You, you trying to say it was me? It to be Makoto, right? I don't see any other option. Wait a second. You've got it all wrong. Let's think about it one more time. There's got to be a hidden side to this case. Huh? A hidden side? First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. You all see it, don't you? Mukuro, who we didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead. And then we're thrown into a trial. And Kyoko even said, it's a trap the mastermind set for us. So that's why this has to be okay. Time's up. Wow, look at that. He's rushing it. So it had Monokuma is doing some shady shit right now. Huh? Time's up. Class trials all over. Everyone can stop talking now. What? Time? What do you mean time's up? There's no time's up. Since when have we... It's because you were late. So we had to push back the start time. Oh, did I pick the wrong choice again? So then, it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. I had to run away. Voting time? Spinning, 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 spinning. Oh, no, that was the end of the chapter. All right, I didn't take any damage, so we should get a trophy here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. What, do, what the fuck about trophy? Now, who will 
will be chosen as the blackened. What my trophy though? What my trophy? Ah, oh, here we go. I got it. You must have quit. Yeah, this, this is my trophy. This is my trophy. This is my trophy. I got my trophy. My gold goddamn trophy. Yeah. All right, let's go. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? All right, here we go. Save. Obviously, I'm saving. Fuck all that. I don't know what's going to happen now. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen now. Shit. Hey, hold on. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Oh, shit. Makoto. What? You think I'm the killer? Sorry, man. Sorry. It's all your fault. Whoa, Byakuya was kind of... He didn't say anything. Everyone, you're wrong. You got it all wrong. I didn't do it. Yes, indeed. Good job, everyone. Good job. Yep. They got it right. No, I know that's not true. None of this makes any sense. This whole trial doesn't make any sense. Hey. It makes perfect sense. It's the same as always. It's like all the other class trials, and I'm gonna end it the same way. Thrills, chills, kills. <laughs> Kyoko. I don't expect you to forgive me. What? Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Are you kidding me? Mikoto has been found guilty? Are you kidding me? What? So it's basically the same fucking treatment. But he's the ultimate Loki student! It's not gonna smash him, right? Whoa, look at this! The ultimate Loki student, baby! The ultimate Loki student, bitch! I'm the ultimate Loki student! Don't let it happen! Look, where you at? Where you at? Yes! <laughs> oh shit, I'm falling? No! This is just as bad! What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what's this? What's going on? Hey, what's that? Chihiro! Chihiro! Oh, that was AI! AI somehow got into the network! Oh my god, Alter Ego got into the fucking network! This is... Alter Ego? Is this some kind of stupid virus from that stupid guy? He must have planted it when he evaded my network. Oh shit, Alter Ego, dude! It, seem... it seems you finally made, my, made a miscalculation. You miscalculated from the very beginning. What the heck? What was that? In other words... What I'm saying is, you shouldn't have underestimated us. What are you talking? Like you already were. Free falling! <laughs> the stupid virus is gone now. Got it? And so is Makoto. 
Maybe I didn't get to smash him fight, but you're never gonna see him again. To waste away in a garbage strewn pit in a way that's an even better, uh, better special punishment. But it's still not enough. I'm still not satisfied. But you know what? In the bad ending, or the so-called bad ending, why didn't Alter Ego show up there? That doesn't make any sense. You know what? Never mind. <clears throat> because Alter Ego didn't show up because it was through Makoto's perspective of what might have happened if he had pursued the lie. He, that was completely unexpected. So he, because that was so unexpected of Alter Ego to show up, it didn't show up in the bad ending because Makoto was thinking all the bad shit. All right, holy shit, okay. All right, I'm still gonna bring despair to the rest of you. Bring despair to the entire world. <laughs> holy shit. Uh, um, is he gone? <laughs> What's the meaning of all this? What the hell is going on? Calm down. It's okay, we're not the ones being trapped this time. Huh? In other words, now it's the masterminds that's ensnared. What, what did you? What are say? you talking about? So you'll understand soon enough. Very soon indeed. The massive high school towers over the other buildings in this bustling urban era. He got outside. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Oh shit, he got out! Host Peak Academy. It brings in top students from the every field imaginable. A government... Oh wait, no, he's just a... He's just saying this in his head. Never mind. Wait, did he actually get out though? They said that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it tends... It sends the cream of the crop into this workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in a nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to have already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. <clears throat> this is just like the opening to the game, it looks like. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with ultimate yeah this is this is pretty much the opening of the game I guess it's a flashback so he's still inside the school okay I thought he got out somehow hmm mm -hmm. what where am I I woke up with my head resting on top of the of a hard wooden desk My body felt heavy. My body. It wouldn't be weird for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? It wasn't any classroom I had ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Whoa. Chapter 5, The Time Unknown. Finally. I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again, and then... I was awake. Whoa. Or was this just another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare. This isn't a dream. I could tell because the stench invading my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. I was in a vast dark cavern with the barest hint of light seeping in. Trash was piled high all across the area. This might be some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in, but that was just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck in there until I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. Now that what my good friend went through to save me, I remember all too what, well what, ha ha what had happened. That alter eagle saved me, and he used up the last bit of his strength to do it. So I can't give up now, for myself and for my friend. Yo, he is literally the luckiest person alive right now. Literally. My pursuit of survival begins. I'm surprised he didn't die from that fall. First, oh, let's start looking for a way out of here. That door in front. But let's look at the Monokuma doll over here. That's a rocket and a tank. I better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. 
Damn. That's a long way down. Is that an airplane? How did something like that wind up in the school's garbage pit? This is a desk. It's probably the one that fell down here from with or here with it. I don't understand, man. Was Kyoko really? She really didn't care about me, just allowed me to die? Or did she know that Alter Ego was gonna save the day? What the fuck? Like, Kyoko was just gonna let me die and shit. Like, real talk? Real talk, Kyoko? Rattle, rattle, rattle. It's locked. Rattle, rattle, rattle. No matter how many times I pushed or pulled or kicked at it, it didn't budge. Getting out of here isn't gonna be that easy. Well, if I'm not going to get out of here anytime soon, I decided to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. But that was pointless too. Next, I search for some water. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are in all around bad idea? Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in on all sides, okay. But that's still not enough reason to give up because because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was <laughs> rest, go to sleep, go to sleep, yup. <laughs> my sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. <clears throat> I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed and all I did was sleep and sleep it was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky however what fell from the sky wasn't a sign not exactly Kagrunch? what the that sound sounded or that sound that strange sound pierced my silent isolation drawing my head As I watched, a pile of garbage jostled and formed an oddly shape. Yo, someone's sending food, right? What could it have been? Food. It could bet you any money is food. Just a second. A giant piece of trash, rude. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. Uh. It smells. Awful. <laughs> what the? You sent yourself down here? What the hell? Kyoko! Indeed. You look like you were doing better than I expected. What are you doing here? So... Isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. But you know what? She has the master key and we can probably open that door up there. Um, you got a bit of garbage in your hair. She gave her head a quick sharp shake to get rid of the trash and then face me again. Okay. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat. We can talk once you're finished. Man, if you're falling from that height, you should be dying. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I snatched the bread and water and she was holding that she was holding out. Oh, I was right. It was food, but I didn't expect Kyoko. Within seconds, it was in my mouth, making its way towards my stomach. That really hit the spot. Now I've got all the energy I need to keep going. <laughs> so you still haven't given up then? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is about all I'm good at. Mm -hmm. well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. What you else? What else you bring? You man, this wasn't nearly enough to fill me up. There's an unbelievable amount of trash here. But Kyoko, why'd you come to rescue me? So... To pay a debt, or no, to atone. Atone. You. Then the child, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you knew that I knew. Indeed. But even though I knew I did nothing to help you, I... I abandoned you. Don't say that. You didn't abandon me. Now that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. However... But listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but there was a reason that I had to survive, no matter the cost. Alright. I can't offer you... I can't offer you any other reason than that. I'm... truly sorry. Let's talk to her again. I, however, why did you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. 
The reason I have to survive In other words, is so that I can do what I came to this school to do. What? I made up my mind to be to come to Hope Peaks Academy for one very important reason. What is that? To stop the mastermind, huh? In other words. Alright. So you have a reason for coming to Hope's Peak. Indeed. That's right, at least I did once. Once? I... Until recently, I've forgotten what it was. She forgot, but that's amnesia. No, memory, that's impossible. Amnesia? Man, you're like Adol Christian. You're like one of my past lives. I'm Bryce. You lost your memory. Do you remember, Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at the school? It felt warped. The first thing? You're talking about that when we fainted, right? I fainted and when I woke up I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself, a disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back on it, at that point my memory was gone. At that time I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to this school and... I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. What would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. You know why it happened, right? Because she was probably the ultimate detective or the ultimate mystery book solver guy person. You know, it's obvious at this point who she is. I mean, her, given her talent to be able to figure shit out and touch dead bodies, she had to be a detective or something. Her dad was a detective, right? Are you saying... You think you lost your memory because... Indeed. I'm positive it was the work of the mastermind. They stole it because they didn't want her figuring out the fucking shit here. They didn't want them... They didn't want Kyoko figuring out the true plan behind this place, right? Or something. There's only one reason I could come up with. Alright. Because of my purpose and my ability, somehow they would interfere with the mastermind's plan. So the mastermind just stole them from you? However, And it could also mean somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of this school and the mastermind. This is why I have to get them back. That's what I've been investigating things myself this whole time. But if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? Why is that? If I did that and we all worked as one, the mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always the chance that the mastermind is actually one of us. Correct. Well, don't make too, don't make too big of a deal of it. It's just a possibility. I was sipping water while I was talking. That's a bad idea. All right. But since it's a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? The mastermind, one of us, who could it be? If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around here. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. However, that being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to, to help me. But why me? <laughs> Because among everyone, you would least likely to be the mastermind. That was just intuition, but I see. Your intuition was right, though. There's no way an ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. I understand. I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Ugh! It's just like that dream I had before, but... But what, why did that just here, just happen? It was something, I bet you it had something to do with what the mastermind did with their bodies, I guess. Listen. Are you okay? Oh yeah, it's nothing. It is nothing, right? Hey. Even though I still trust you, you know. It's just, I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know I never asked you for help the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that's just her personality. Alright, let's talk to Kyoko again. You said you had a reason for doing all that investigating on your own. So how did it turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember, but at least, at the very least, I was able to recall my purpose and my ability. Obviously, we know what it is. I... The ultimate detective. Obviously, that's not a surprise. Correct. And the reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy, there was something I had to find, or someone I had to find there. You had to find someone who? So... Well, 
It was the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. The headmaster? Why did you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my father. What? In other words, I was separated from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Kyoko's dad. Is Hope's Peak's headmaster? Hmm. When Alter Eagle told us that told us how he thought the headmaster was involved. I Hmm. Yeah, we already got kinda got our suspicions from that. Huh? I No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No Father! Father! So, um I My memory hadn't come back at this point, but when they when he said that I felt strange makes perfect sense now of course since my whole purpose for coming here was to find him however but listen Makota I want to make this perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding I said the headmaster wasn't the mastermind but I didn't say that to protect him I only said what I felt based on what I seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room then what did you see in there so... the room had been ransacked the shelves were a mess the dash drawers dumped on the floor the only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. You mean the mastermind, right? It's true. That was my assumption, yes. And to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the keys I found. Why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. Is this some kind of map? Indeed. It's a layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. I found it in the headmaster's room along with Kuro's profile in that key. The map showed that the second floor was home to another a number of rooms meant for faculty use. Hmm. Some of the stuff must have had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured the headmaster would have some kind of private room there. I assumed that if that was true, the room would likely hold more clues, so I went to check. Correct. And that's when I finally remembered. I remember my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there. However, But once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dungeons didn't have any cameras or monitors, which is why I had the idea what was going on in the rest of the building. I was so preoccupied with investigating that room, it was unforgivably careless of me. Alright, so what we're going to do here is save the game, take a short break, and once we come back, we'll be back to reach out for the truth of our lives, seeking to see on the whole moment to now break away from... Hope's Peak Academy, literally. So I'll see you guys later.